Am I strong? I gotta give it a go, yeah I gotta grind Working for money in the door, yeah, yeah Okay, welcome back to the podcast. Um, shout out to Jalo, happy birthday. Appreciate it. Happy birthday, big dog. Happy birthday. Appreciate, it. Appreciate, it. Appreciate it. Okay, yeah, so um, before we get into the topic, let's uh, present the gang we have here today. I'm Ronya. Jalo Juice. I'm Isha. I let y'all know what it is. Yes, okay, so the topic of the day, love languages. Why are love languages so like why is it so important to understand your partner's love language in a relationship? I think it's quite simple. I mean, y'all, you know y'all love languages? Yeah, I know mine. But I know mine too. we that could be a separate question. That's yeah. Like, answer your question. No, but I think it's important to know your partner's love language because it shows that you care about that person. I think it's quite simple. And it's like a little blueprint for you to have a little tip to Love your partner, you know. What I'm saying? I don't think it get more similar than that. Yeah, I, I I feel it's more important than just showing that you care for them. It's like the way they feel loved. Yeah, like if you love someone in a way that that's not their love language, they might not receive, receive love. that love. Yeah, for sure. Like like when you read in the book, it's like if I think that my partner had the same love language as me, I say I think that's probably what some narcissists would do, or like some selfish person would do. Like, okay, my Love language is gifts, so I'm just buy my. But that's wife, what people do, you know, gifts. So I think that's why it's important. Now, I think it's even important. Like, people do that. Yeah, yeah a lot people of people do, do that. They think like because they have their, yeah. it's their love language. They gotta give it to the other person. Like my love language is quality time. Then I would spend like a lot of time with the no. person. If they don't have that love language, they wouldn't like see that as love. Yeah, I get what you say. First thing was answer your question. You think it's important? You said you act if it's important to understand your partner's yeah. language. Yeah. And I agree with you because one, it shows that you care. Obviously, you gotta remember and be committed to what you're doing. And secondly, I think, like you said, understanding the way to love a person, the way they want to be loved, is better because obviously you just said that people don't do that. Mm. And well, I didn't, I wasn't aware of that, but I I guess maybe because of the way I think. But I feel like it in today's like. Uh, relationships yeah. people only love with their love language they're not like self-aware and can see that their person has a, like a, a different love language and i feel like that's what makes people break up because they don't understand each other's love language no, that makes sense. What do you think? i think it is important because it shows that you appreciate that person and you are taking into consideration like their needs and their needs are what they need from those love languages. Yeah. I would say that the issue about like dating now and not taking into consideration the other person's love language, that's like really like that's a valid point, but I think it's so dumb nowadays because that's actually the first thing you're talking about. Yeah. Or the first thing before you get together. Yeah. But do you think people don't have that conversation to run this point? Is because a lot of people may not even know their love language? I think it's obvious, no? I agree. No, personally, I agree with you. I right? think like, obviously it sounds like we all have enough awareness and education that we're aware of love languages. We know they exist and yeah. we know ourselves enough to know our own. But if Rani is saying that in relationships, she feels like follows to happen because people love people the way they want to be loved and not the way the person wants to be loved, yeah. it's evident that there are people yeah. out there that don't have the type of awareness that we're talking about. Yeah, that's true. I think it's sad that we have a blueprint to know. I think some people can just guess what the love language is. Like, you don't even have to read the book. You mm-hmm. go down the list and it's five. Can you list down the five again? Uh, I, it's gift, it? like receiving gifts. Gift, gift Vis- giving. Yeah, physical. Physical touch. touch quality time. Words act, of affirmation. Words of affirmation and acts, acts of service. service. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, like, people, we know this. There's probably more. To be honest, there's probably more love languages. But these, like, the, the main ones. The main ones. Yeah. 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 And, like, we have a blueprint. <laughs> But we still see so many unsuccessful relationships and marriages. But I guess one of you, well, I think one of you guys said it earlier, or maybe it goes against what you said. You have to be a selfish person, one, to be unaware, <clears> and two, not want to know the way your partner wants to be loved. Especially if you're talking about, like, if you're really trying to love on somebody, you want to know how they want to be loved on. Mm, yeah. So I think there is a level of, well, I don't know what the level is, but you have to be some sort of selfish mm, yeah. or inconsiderate. 
to not be aware of love languages. Well, maybe if you're not receiving what you need, then it, it... you get what you want. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's toxic. Like, mm. I guess back to what you said about modern day dating. Obviously, I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself. Communication is key. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know how to communicate, meaning you don't know how to speak, or you don't know how to listen, then you're always going to have that problem because, like you said, if, if, if I'm a lover of somebody, or let's use you as an example, I want gift givers. So I'm just be buying you a bunch of gifts. Mm -hmm. I can make it simple to you. How, 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 how can we make this work? What do you want? What do you don't want? What do you like? What do you don't like? Obviously, like you say, there's certain things you can just figure out. Mm. But at the same time, communication is key. If I'm willing to sit down and talk to you, but that, and that makes I think that makes the relationship better because if we sit down and talk about discuss anything, then something like that, I'm, I'm, I'm a learning about it. Mm. Yes. I think also when you're communicating, it doesn't have to be so obvious like the conversation. It can just be like, I love spending time with you. Yeah. So mm. it's like just hinting at the fact that yeah. you like quality time. Yeah. Yeah. I think you guys said two important things, like, like bringing that conversation up. And I think that some people are so afraid to just, I feel like this should be like one of those easy ones to just bring up to somebody. You can be like, yo, what's your love language? Like first date versus like, are you on the left or you're on the right? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's way something to bring up on the first date. But what are your love languages though? I'm interested in them. Ronia, is your question? I think it's your words. Well, um, I would say quality time, acts of service, and um, Physical touch. What's your major though? Is that quality time for quality sure. Time. Yeah. So you want to know top three and top one? No, nah, except well, but I read the book. You got like a major, then you got a little minor. You know. You, Please. You want me to? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, physical touch. Quality time. And where's that fish? <laughs> for me, I would say quality time, acts of service. And physical touch. I literally have the same thing as you, bro. Physical touch, major. Quality time is like that. Never the same thing. And words of affirmation. And I used to, and words of affirmation used to not be a thing, but I feel like from my previous relationships of feeling like I'm not respected as much yeah. as I should have, it's like I kind of want that soft, feminine voice to like give me those words of affirmation. Because I used to think it's like, bro, you too beta to want these things, but then. Somebody speaking into you, you know what I mean, or like speaking at you from that perspective. Yeah, like it, it came up to be something. No, yeah. I, agree, I agree with you because, like I said, words that words that affirmation never mattered to me either. Like, I feel like when I was younger, I was mad at like, bro, I literally didn't care about nothing, you know. And obviously, I just started learning, getting better, learning myself. I think my last relationship made me realize to your point, it's just like obviously, like, especially when you're a hustler. When you when you when you got that go getter mindset, like yeah, that's all you're focusing on. But sometimes it'd be nice to someone like you know, yeah, I see you doing your thing, I see you doing your thing. Because yeah. you can do your thing regardless, but knowing you got someone that you fuck with that remind you, yeah, I see you, bro. It's pretty cool. Like what they man, I love when you work hard. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, if I'm like no fucking work, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hit the gym or something. Hard work it. I mean, if you do something. Yeah, it it, it motivates. Because like at the end of the day, I think act service is Whatever. I think as a man, like, he was a provider. That, that's going to come naturally. I think gift can really help him naturally because uh, if, if you really, if as a man, if you really mess with you're going to you go on, especially as far as money you want to spend on it, you want to give whatever she wants. So that's, that's all about That's what to do. So, so it's important for you to be acknowledged in a relationship. Yeah, but I do, I do like physical tests, though. You know, I love when, you know, I'm just thinking back, you know, to a relationship. <laughs> It's like when I'm in the crib, you know, just chilling, and, and my shorty will walk by, just like you know, give me a little touch, you know. You know, what I mean? like most time we think of like physical touch, like most guys say, oh, we gotta be physical with a woman. It's just like just the subtle things, you know, when you're yeah. walking by, she touch you on the stomach, you know, caressing your back, and you cooking in the crib, yeah. making me feel good, you know. Yeah, very good. Yeah. <laughs> why you guys? Why is your love language your love language? Did I say first quality time? You don't know what you said? <laughs> I think I said quality time first. I would say quality time because you get to know the person the best through that way. Because you're spending just downtime with them and also going out with them. And you learn all their flaws, their characteristics, what they like, what they don't like. So that's like the best way to get to know something. Time. I feel like it's weird. I feel like quality time should be somewhat of everybody. 
love language. I think it's kind of weird if you don't want to be around your partner. Uh, I agree. Well, some people are like, they want to have like very separate lives. So they want to have their own life and then have their like, sometimes have their life with their partner, you know? Sometimes. Very independent. Yeah, they're very hyper independent. Yeah. I feel like that's yeah. a that's a deal breaker for me. Yeah. It's like a, almost like a red flag. Yeah, yeah. kind of. <laughs> I, 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 like, oh, you know some people are like really busy with work or something, so that's why they like differentiate the two. That's cool. When you off work, come on, come to daddy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come be yeah. with me. Like, what, what else should you? What else should you do? Like, especially. I'm with you. Cause to, to, to this point, in that point, in that case, you might as well even have a relationship. <laughs> if you're too busy with someone, not to commit that much time to a relationship, we, we you in there for? Yeah. The hyper independent shit, then you might say, what you gonna be doing, fleeing for your whole life? Somebody can bring up a valid excuse to understand like why you don't be around your partner, then I'll listen to it. But for right now, I just think it's kind of. Are you that type of person? You know, why you saying that? No. So That's why I say quality time. <laughs> but I appreciate it a lot. So you advocate, but you just advocated for people, hyper independent people? No, I just explained why it's like. Important. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't find an excuse for why you would not want to have quality time with your brother. No, that was just my oh, explanation. Oh. That's how I see it. Why some people don't like it. People don't be people. Yeah, some people just have a lot. People don't be people. Why is your uh, love language just yours? Well, it just makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me feel good. <laughs> Well, quality time because you get to know each other and, and like your your connections get deeper and like I want to feel like I want to say your soul connects, but it comes kind of cheesy. But, um, it's not so cheesy. It's been <laughs> so some cheesy. It's so connected. It's cool though. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Um, physical touch. I mean, just like you said, that it doesn't have to be like sexual. Like just a hug or just you know, it makes makes you feel good. It makes you feel. Loved. Mm. Come on. Come on, all that. Come on. Talk to me. And I'm gonna do my part, you know. Hey. 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 Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> but with the other ones though, like why the other ones where y'all love languages? You asking me right now? Yeah, me yeah. in general. Oh, what? We we already talked about physical touch one, of course it's cool. I already talked we already talked about the word the application one. I think all the time is all the time, but at the end of the day like if you're trying to build a life with a person, you really want to get to know a person. Like me, for my relationship, obviously I want my partner to be my best friend. I'm a very layered dude. So at the end of the day, we, we, we have a lot of shit that we can talk about. And me, I have shit that I can get up my chest. I don't talk to anything else. Also, it's nice with quality, shit, with quality time that you get to know a person better. And if I like you more than everybody else on this planet, there's over a billion people, why wouldn't they want to spend the most time with you? Outside of building our future, our life, and everything else we got going on. I feel like the I feel like the gift given one, I think that one is kinda of weird. For me personally, I don't really like to receive gifts that much. But, okay, but let me ask, it's like you buying something for a partner that isn't like big. Well, no, no, that's cool. It's for the other person. You, 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 know you just switch it up. You ask all of us why our, our language, love languages are Nikki, you want me to explain one, which is a physical touch on why your love language is your love languages. Yeah. Physical touch, I already explained that. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Makes me feel good, of course. Quality time, I, mean, I just think it's inevitable. Like I want to spend, I want to spend all my time with my person that yeah. I want to be with. You know, it's like when you off work, you know, we we planning out things. Of course, you need your separate lives. I, I I get that. You need your separate lives. You need to be able to go to the gym. You know, uh, see probably your family and things friends. like this. Your friends. You know, your friend. I'm your friend. Oh, yeah, that, you said you know, that yeah. was you that said friends? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Friends, you said I need my life, nigga. <laughs> I need my life, nigga. Nah, I'm friend. But I, I, I just love quality time, for real. You know, I think it's, it's damn near up there with physical touch because if I ain't spending no quality time with you, you ain't touching me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But wait, then let me ask you, what, why did you react that when I said friends? Don't what, what did you hang with your boys? Yeah, yeah, no, I only, I only did that because it's the way you said it. I was just oh, making okay. fun of the way you said it. Cause obviously, he was talking, but it's like, I got you. Like, I got you. <laughs> so for me, it's like, you know, you're getting feisty over there for. 
then the uh, man, I kind of explained the words of affirmation already. Yeah. You know, it came from previous relationships. And at first, as I said, I already explained it. It wasn't a thing before, and now it became a thing because of what I learned. But I just want to mention, like, the gift thing. You know, I just think it almost kind of sounds selfish. But then again, it's some people loving. Mm -hmm. No, but I guess I understand. You probably saying you saying it sounds selfish because. And me and you always exactly with this, bro. You trying to understand from your perspective. The thing is, bro, one, humans are humans. Remember, that's why I always said, hey, don't be human. But at the end of the day, bro, that person's feelings matter. So that's how they want to be loved. For sure. And to your point, if you bring up that conversation right away, and if you don't agree with gift giving and that person say, no, 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 it won't be like that. Let me not go ahead. I won't be like that. Yes, if you meet someone and you bring up the conversation, and they say they talk about black which is keep giving. And the way you say you stand right now, I promise you right now, you should see the red flag and don't go on that second date. For sure. I feel like you get what I'm Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But what I originally trying to express to you is people are people. So yeah, not every person you can understand, but if you want to love and respect somebody and love on that person, you're gonna have to understand that person from their perspective for that relationship to work. That makes sense. But why don't you like it? understand gift giving us love language. I mean, I tell you this, run, run, run your sound like you like gifts, right? <laughs> no, but I have friends that their love, like top love language is gift giving. So I'm just oh, asking. Me, I would never get You know, language. like to me, go ahead, you want to say No, something? I was just going to ask, gift giving, are we talking only like materialistic things? It sounds like that's what you're talking that, about. That, that, okay, okay. I mean, maybe that's probably how I'm interpreting. So I understand, what, what, I got to understand a person. Outside of materialistic things, would you, would you consider gift giving? Again, no, that's a good question. Then it can be acts. So yeah, that's, like, yeah, that's true. But yeah, but so, maybe I'm also thinking like, because when someone says gift, it doesn't have to be like super lavish, right? It can be like no, well, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't yeah. have to be lavish. But you said are we only talking about materials. Yeah, yeah, just like you made the point about it possibly being acts of service, but acts of service, acts of service. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like it can be viewed as a gift, <clears throat> but an act of service is act. So yeah. it's like yeah, like, but if, if we live together, I clean. But house, what are you? What, yeah. How are you? Like, like, yeah. yeah. Now I'm thinking about it kind of how you said it. It's like I agree with everything you said. Like I gotta get to know a person exactly. That's their thing. I'm a I'm a obviously do it because that's how they feel love. But I just think if it's their number one thing, for me it just seems like a red flag. It's like red the only flag. way you feel loved is by receiving things. You know what I mean from somebody? Get the fuck away. It's, it's like that, that's this is how okay, I look but, at it. That's not how right I look now, at it. Hey, I tell you right now, knowing you, that's my boy. If you have that conversation, that's the number one. Get. Yeah, it, it just seemed, it seemed like a red flag to me. Because even, even though it's 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 a it's a love language, you have all the money in the world, but you, but you know how annoying that shit could be. Your yeah, love, your yeah, top love language is I gotta I gotta I gotta do so I gotta give you something. Okay, let me ask. Like the way you she defended it, bro. She, <laughs> she, <laughs> I, 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 I know my friend. It ain't, no, 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 it ain't even about your friend at this point. Why are you defending your friend? No, I'm I'm just I, I would just want to like dig in it, so okay. Okay, go ahead, dig in it, so. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. No, I lost my question. No, no, no. Go go ahead. It's about yes. It's about yes. It's about like I'll be roasting them. But go ahead. Okay, so my question is the the like the way you show love to others the same love language as you want to receive from others, or can they be different? You ask him for sure. Yeah, I mean they're gonna obviously be different. So because my friend know. she. She her love language is she shows people that she cares and loves and thinks about like them, them gifts? through gifts. But for her, her like the way she wants to be in love is like quality time more. It's not gift giving. She doesn't want gifts, but she shows people that she loves them through gift giving. I, I hear you, Which is cool. Yeah. It, it is cool, but what I now I try to unpack that a little bit. You say the way she shows love is by giving gifts. Yeah. But she wants to be loved through quality time. Yeah. But okay, let's so let's say me and her is friends. Mm -hmm. She just gave me a gift for no reason. I mean, I, but, but I mean, like, then you have, I put place that responsibility on people who know about it enough because if you, you don't need to get somebody a gift to be their friend, what you get them a gift for? But you say that's how she show love. Mm -hmm. But she won't call it down. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's a problem? I'm not saying it's a problem, it's just. Bro, me, I is a businessman, bro. Would you wasting your money for? You don't gotta spend your money. Me, I don't want your, I don't want your shit. But yeah, I, but I it, it's accept. more, it's more this like she, she sees an object and she's like, oh, Ronnie would love that, and then she buys it for me. 
Well, yeah, that's cool. It doesn't think, have yeah. to be like expensive. No, it could I'm, be I'm, like I'm, a two dollar thing. I'm not talking about ex- I'm not talking about expensive either. Like I say, but if it, like again, this is my logic. Yeah, okay. If that two dollar thing you don't need in your life, even though I, I would say, I mean, I guess for me, I'm trying to understand. I'm not saying there's a problem. I actually think it's cool and cute. I don't know my logic just on I, about you wasting your money at this point. Okay. I mean, I understand this, right? Like men to women, you know, my shorty, I'm going to know her and I'm going to do like what your friend says. Like, I know my shorty so well, like things like this she likes, you know, maybe like. But Jigga, yeah. I do it for my girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she sure. says she just do it for her for friends. Friend, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, but uh, sometimes it's not be like me saying, yo, I ain't the story now <clears throat> and I put up the acrylic. You 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 want this, but thing. but like you, I, you know that I like cake, and then you brought some cake for yeah. me when you came. Yeah, that's gift gift giving. It was cool. You thought about me for sure. For sure. Yeah, you did that now. But <laughs> 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 no, you know, I don't know. <laughs> no, I hope this still sound fucked up. <laughs> Is it fucked up that I bring it because I am the big? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that. I get that. Yeah. But, but but it's still it's still, but a, still, nice still, it's still a nice service though. It's still a nice service. It's still a nice service. Even if you ain't had to pay for it, you know what I mean? Which I think is cool. Like I was gonna just say, like, say I know my shorty really well. She like flowers and things like this. Like I'm gonna surprise her with some flowers, you know. Cool. But my problem is like when I think about someone whose uh, first love language is gifts, I think they probably just a little bit materialistic. So imagine me saying, like, I come back to the crib and I didn't buy her a gift. And she and she have a, like a meltdown. Oh, you didn't give me a gift. You don't love me. You know what I mean? It make that's me toxic, bro. bro. <laughs> I, 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 I just, I'm just I'm saying, you. you know what? You know what? You know why he's saying he's saying? I, I, I'm gonna lie. Obviously, I've only been in Europe for about four months now. But the way of people we are so different from where we come from. Like he said, mm-hmm. what, what he's saying right now, I'm not saying it's it's prominent, but you you definitely see some children. Like your people, I don't know. Maybe they first have like they love first have like just give given. And I have a meltdown when they don't get whatever gift they think they should be getting or whatever. Mm. But the type of shit normal back back home. To your point, it is toxic, but some people just see for what it is. But that's why communication is so important. Yeah. For sure. I mean the last thing I would say, like the reason why I really like quality time and uh you know physical tough and even you know words of affirmation because it's like when I don't see, it's, it's easier to read if there's a problem because I'm not a mind reader. If I know my shorty, bro, me, if she's not giving me my love language, I'm like, yo, what's up? What's yeah, up? What's up? So just like when I flip it around, if I get if I give her a gift, she's like, she, if that's her love language, she probably have a reason to low key feel some type of way. But she's not spending time with me. She like want to be distant. She's not touching me. She's not calling me daddy or something like this. I'm gonna be like, bro, what's up? She not calling me daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought y'all was going to laugh. I'm trying to throw something funny in there for y'all. They did laugh. Yeah, yeah, they did something laughing at you. They laughed. It was, it was a delivery. It was a delivery, you know. They not coming to me. But y'all feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I can get you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She not coming to me, Dad. I was being nice. I was supposed to put the Z in front of it. Oh, <laughs> big dog. <laughs> Sorry. What the hell? <laughs> OK, well, that's all we got for you today. Um. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. Am I strong? I gotta give it a go, yeah. I gotta grind. Working for money in the door, yeah, yeah.